Look at that. What a nice shot. If only you hadn't left your camera bag in the shot. Or if only I hadn't left camera bag in the shot. Unfortunately, the only way to fix this is to reshoot. Not really. There are two ways to get rid of an unwanted object in frame. Well, three if you count reshooting. The easy way is to crop the image. Just enlarge it and move the object out of frame. But you can see that we've lost a good bit of resolution, which, depending on the shot, could be a big deal. In some cases, letterboxing the shot or adding black bars can help, but you will have to add those black bars to your entire project, so that might be a turn away. Thankfully, the hard way is not that hard. So that's good. When it comes to the visual effects behind this, there are varying degrees of complexity based on how much your camera moves. For example, if the shot is static, like a tripod shot, then all you'll need to do is generate an image of the background behind the object. You can use this by taking a nearby part of the frame, or by taking other textures and creating a fake background. Then just position that over the object, and you're done. It gets a little bit more complicated if the camera is moving. If the shot is handheld, meaning that the camera doesn't rotate or move through space, then all that you'll need is a one-point track. Then make the same type of background and attach it to the track. If the camera does rotate, you'll need to use a double-point track. Do the exact same thing, make the background, attach it to the track, you're done. Finally, if the camera is moving through space, you must, you'd say, you'll have to use a three-dimensional planar track. I'm not going to talk about the entire thing right here, because there are a lot of little details to go over, but I will include a time lapse of me doing the effect. And a lot of these channels make releases. Now, releases are free to use in your videos, and a lot of them are free downloads. So you can see why a lot of people would want